So we're getting the old 1980 16 foot John boat ready for this season of fishing and crabbing. And I've always wanted to have something on here, a little compartment to put my keys, my wallet, my cell phone that's not just banging around and out in the elements. <clears throat> a lot of times I'll just take them and stick them in my backpack. And well, I don't like doing that. So I bought this online and it's advertised as a glove box and I'm going to use it to put my stuff in and I'm going to mount it here in my seat. So I'm going to bring you a little closer and I'll show you what we have so far. So I've already done some of the work already. Now this is a spot where they had a seat and seat cushion already attached here and I wanted to get rid of those big ugly holes and this thing took that apart perfectly. So I put it on here upside down, traced it out, and then I cut out the inside of the box. And then I uh, carved out the styrofoam so the box actually fits in there. Bada bing, bada boom. And that's going to... Ooh, why did I go out of focus? What happened there, focus? That was, that was too quick for you, huh? A little low light here. Um, but there you go. That's what we got going on today. I just went to the store and bought the, uh, the stainless steel hardware that I need and some some caulk we're going to caulk around the edges and install it i got this from boat fitters but i believe they sell things like this on amazon this is the size i wanted to fit in my bench hope you guys find what you want if you want to do the same thing so once you cut out your hole and carve out your styrofoam you want to mark where you want to put your screws and i just did that with a sharpie and then the four screw holes in here are a little bit smaller in diameter than those so i actually had to take apart a pen and use that to mark those holes so now that everything is marked out where we want it, I'm going to go ahead and make some holes. The best thing about having an old John boat, you can do stuff like this and not worry about messing it up. This cost me 500 bucks like, what, 8, 10, 12, 15 years ago? So I'm going to do that with these and these back here I'm going to change my belt and put some little bit thinner screws in because that's where the, uh, the hinge is for some reason that the holes are a little smaller. So we'll be back in a minute. All the holes are drilled. I'm just going to confirm they are in the correct spots, correct locations and we are looking, looking good. They all line up. So now I'm just going to clean the area with a little alcohol just to uh, get any loose debris and dust off of there so we can put on our caulk, all-purpose adhesive caulk. Cut that at a 45 degree angle because that's what they say. And this is an all-purpose inside outside. I'm just going to put a thin bead on here just for a little added security all the way around. It's going to be fun trying to find those holes again now that I just conked over them. But a little something. We got a nice bead of caulk on there. My, my, my wife was just yelling at me because I was being myself. And it's okay if it spills out a little bit. You can wipe that up. And now it's just adding our screws. And uh, I'd suggest not using power tools for this. And doing a little crisscross applesauce. If we can find where my holes are, which not having a whole lot of luck just yet. We'll find one of these holes. Don't want that caulk to set just yet. All right. Do a little crisscross. Should be easier to find them. Learn from my mistakes. So we got a couple screws in. We got that one in first. This one started and that one started. So in theory, the rest of them should line up as long as my, yep, now they're all lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw all these in. Let me see if my back holes are correct as well. Yep, let's screw all these in and we'll have a nice little thingamadinger for my stuff here shortly. Be right back. Sweating now. <laughs> um, a little bit of the caulk seeped out the sides, which it should. I'm just gonna go around the outside there and 
wipe up any excess. Probably should have got a bigger and or more paper towels for this. But I'm just cleaning up the outside of it. It does have a little weather gasket here, so it should keep rainwater out. And there we go. Actually, do I have anything to throw in there? Oh, look, my cell phone. Cool. Put some tools in there <laughs> in case it breaks down. And there we go. We got a nice little lock box. Don't be afraid to cut up your John boat and put holes in it and have some fun with it because that's what's most important. See you guys in the water. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you learned something or didn't learn anything, well, I'm just trying to help out as much as I can. If you like this video, all right, see you guys next time.